thought I'd give an update on the Game Boy Advance Doom 2 status. Um, I've actually completed it along with somewhat the tools. They're, they're pretty much finished. You can make mods and stuff with it. However, I still got to define all the sound effects and stuff. So you can't modify every sound um, just yet. There's also the actual font characters in the game I haven't quite defined. Um, but anyway, from my last video, it was basically complete anyway. Um, it was just that all the pallets weren't done, so when you get hit by a shotgun or something, the screen would go red, or I mean pink and glitchy and that from the original pallet. Yeah, that's been sorted out now. So, I thought I might um, get three games up. The one on the left is the original released ROM, and the, s the second and third one is the modded version or the PC conversion pack, I like to call it. For example, let's just start Deathmatch. Got to work out the controls I've set here. Alright, um, I think this one was WSD. Maybe. No. Oh shit. Since the original game used green blood, um, doing the pallet swap was kind of tricky, like even some of the bits of the blood were, um, which got changed with the actual colour of the suit. Because uh, they actually made the base player um, red in this one, instead of the green player you see here. Because the yeah, blood and all that kind of pallet shit. Anyway, so that's that. You can see the uh, difference between the HUDs here. Alright, so that's pretty much it, the, the pack's done. Um, I'll just resize this OBS screen. Alright, so, I've got it on my website, um, PC conversion pack, I'll put a link in the description, um, basically explaining this. Um, Marcus Lewis was the playtester for this case, I'm trying to find glitches like, um, oh yeah, that's one thing, there was this dark flicker where the room Certain rooms in certain areas which is like flash black for, for no reason. Um, but yeah, it's been fixed now. It was just a color map issue from the original developers fucking it up as usual. Anyhow, yeah, we got the difference, comparisons, that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll go back. And there's also the PC conversion pack. I mean, <laughs> Modding tools. Basically explains it, what you can do with it, extract everything. There you go. So it's all done. Um, Game Boy Advance Doom 2 is fully uncensored, I guess. Um, not everything is uncensored, like giving um, certain sprites where there's like hanging bodies and stuff. But the, the wall textures that have hanging bodies are uncensored. So, eh. It's mostly uncensored, anyway. 
Um, but yeah, the palette's been changed to the PC version, so it actually looks nice to look at. Um, one thing I need to demonstrate is um, I was informed the reason why that the um, color palette was so fucked was because the original Game Boy Advance screen being dark as shit, which makes a lot of sense. Um, however, I came up with a solution to uh, you know, the the brightness setting here. Just switch it up. So how it works is lowest is the computer palette, like DOS, Doom 2, MS DOS, whatever. Fuck. Um, then the second option is exactly the same, except uh, eight levels brighter. But then beyond that point, it gets brighter and it also gets more color corrected to the original Game Boy Advance screen. And uh, I find this setting and the fourth setting look great on a front-lit Game Boy Advance. Um, but yeah, if you're playing on the original Game Boy Advance, this looks the best. <laughs> it's basically just brighter, but certain levels look a bit um, more brighter than others, but it corrects the screen enough. So there you go, it's uh, universally compatible with all the different type of Game Boy Advances, I suppose. And um, fully uncensored, basically. And yeah, it's up for grabs now. But yeah, I thought I'd completely forget to mention that I'm actually making a total conversion for GZ or GZ Dude. Um, So if you want to play censored Doom on the computer, here you go. There you go, the body's disappearing there. Got the quirky animation frames. Um, like for example the armor. I haven't done the fireballs yet, but I've done the eggs. There we go outside. There we got the shotgun that spreads differently than the PC version. The only difference is the frame rate's actually pretty good. Um, may as well show you the rest of the weapons actually. So we've got a chainsaw. Um, got the annoying fist. Got the super shotgun. Good. Got the uh, single fire chain gun that shoots completely randomly to the frame rate, but that's how it did it in the original, so it's good. I haven't changed the rocket launcher. I need to get onto that. Uh, plasma gun's done. And uh, BFG hasn't been finished either. So it's just rocket launcher and BFG are exactly the same how they were. Also got the HUD completely finished too, the keys and everything. Which, for example, let's go to Icon of Sin, which is. Um, favorite game boy doing two mod I mean map because uh oh, the music's not bad. Yeah, you got the quirky power-ups once again yeah, everything's censored thing I need to say is I haven't finished the AI yet like I've replaced the sprites but I haven't finished like the censoring and disappearing of their bodies but I have done the quirks like they did for me. I 
the weird thing where he completely dodges your for the first two moves, it looks left and right. Because for whatever reason it does that on the Game Boy one. And but yeah, stuff like that. It's, hopefully I can get the uh, total conversion running enough for grabs, but yeah, so far it's pretty good.